Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Tuesday, long day Monday, uh, after trading very late into the night on Sunday. Still kind of tired, but such is the life. Uh, good trading edition, so got to make hay while the sun shines. Last night, equities up, uh, close to limit up uh, on news that U.S. banks are going to the discount window sort of en masse. BOJ offered uh, $30 billion in the U.S. liquidity. And so equities were close to limit up there. They're just off their highs now. Limit up is 98. Uh, that's we're down at 82 now. Um, still a sell on rally, but I think you know today the first sell area is probably between uh, 20, 2630 and 2660, and then the next sell area is uh, 2700. Um, but the volatility will be there today. Basically, the market has um, likes the fact that people are actually doing things properly and doing things to fight this. So you got quarantines all over uh, Europe. You got a lot of people in the U.S. self-quarantining. People realize you could be symptomless with this virus and still spread it. Uh, so everyone has to do their part. And as soon as everyone gets on on board with this. Uh, the faster it'll be over and the quicker we will get back to normal. Um, there's still some questions whether people in America understand this. And until they fully understand it, um, the system is at risk. So this is kind of where we stand on this. We're still risk off. Uh, we're waiting for leadership from America. And we're waiting for the big decisions that need to be made, as in basically quarantine. Let's look at currencies here. Um, pretty wild overall. Uh, we didn't we didn't really do much last night. We're sort of 5888, but Euro's trying to decide what to do. Obviously both sides of this trade uh, are under pressure. The US is under pressure with outflows from their equity markets. Euro is under pressure with a banking industry that's about to implode. Uh, no growth and no possibility of revenue while quarantined. So we don't really know what to do with this euro dollar here, so we're just going to leave it alone for now. Cable, doji yesterday. After four big down days, the market is incredibly unhappy with the asinine uh, behavior of the British government, and they're letting the government know. Um, a lot of denial over there, uh, a lot of funny business. Importantly, uh, 122, the figure is, is now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 5 daily lows. And the low yesterday after an indecision day. So we could get acceleration again through 122, or um, this is also a tradable high now, 124.26. Um, because this is just a classic setup. Four big down days, and now we have had indecision. So let's keep an eye on both of those levels uh, in sterling. Dollar Swiss, we're sellers. We want to try and sell up in this sort of 95, uh, 30 to 60 area. I don't know if we're going to see it today. Uh, 50 pointer overnight. It's pretty good for Dollar Swiss not really reacting to risk on. This is kind of like a, a low vol reaction to risk on versus dollar yen, which is a high vol reaction. Dollar yen went up to 107.19. And then the 19, uh, surely that was on BOJ uh, stimulus news. We're sellers of dollar yen. I'm not sure this gap is going to get filled anytime soon. We thought 106 was going to kind of cap it yesterday. It, it obviously didn't, but we're just generally sellers because it's it's risk off, and we're sellers. I don't know what can I say. Dollars are we got rates. I think tomorrow. Actually, let's check the calendar. 
retail sales today um, in the US and uh, in the UK I think we have something as well and we got German Zoo average earnings in the UK unemployment in the UK German Zoo and retail sales out of the US I forget when um, South African rates are, but they're sometime later this week. Um, they're going to cut. If they do cut by a lot, it just you can just pile in, sell more czar. I mean, czar is fucked. I mean, these these fragile emerging market uh, current uh, economies are just going to get thrashed. Uh, as soon as quarantine comes into place, uh, and the longer they delay quarantine, the, the worse it's going to be. So you want to try and buy this on a dip. Obviously, big ranges. Yesterday was 04, 75. It's a four percent, four percent range. Um, like I said, this is this is on its way to 20. Um, so. Keep your positions the correct size so you can withstand the volatility and try and get yourself short czar. Euro Swiss not doing too much. The SNB is around. I looked at their balance sheet the other day, uh, yesterday. They spent about another six billion slowing this down, but obviously Euro Swiss is is sinking um, with this global fear trade going on. Let's go to our nemesis, gold, this motherfucker. Um, we waited and waited and waited yesterday, and we traded and traded and traded to a better and better and better average. And then eventually it just went too far, and, and we ended up puking. Um, the low was 50. On a day where the Federal Reserve cut rates, Obviously, it's just liquidation. It's ETF liquidation. It's 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 uh, retail liquidation. As soon as this liquidation is over, gold will become a safe haven again. But until it's over, um, we're just going to avoid it. Looks like now there's going to be more stops below 50. Um, and if you look historically, let's go on the weeklies. Gold gold can easily here's a move from 1693 uh, down to 1178. So this is another liquidation in gold here. Um, you know, that one's 600 bucks. We're now uh, 210 bucks from the high. So we're just spectators in gold. Annoying yesterday. Uh, but such is life in trading. Not always right. ES, we kind of talked about it. We're sellers here. Put it up on the dailies. Um, we're going to be sellers up in this sort of 2650 to 2700 area today uh, in ES. Obviously, limit up in Asia is 2498. There will be no limit up in the cash session. And finally, short bonds. Um, the bond Armageddon is coming. Uh, bonds are not going up properly when risk is going down. We are short tens, ZN, trading it on the short side. You know, yesterday we we sold 38s, we sold 38 tens, we bought 3704s, we bought 3708s. You know, you, you know the deal. We're, we're trading this in sort of a circular, bearish way. Um, and Boons, we did get given uh, yesterday and did not. We were not able to resell, but we were gonna, we're going to be selling this today. Um, anywhere near 173. Boons, boons are uh, boons are gonna get crushed. Here's the yield in boons. Anything below 60 basis points, this thing is absolutely worthless. As we get closer to sort of 35, 30, 25 basis points, there is some value in this if you're trying to um, get out of uh, paying negative rates on your deposits. Uh, so you got to be a little bit more careful with this. So it's tradable. We're not going to chase boons, uh, but we will fade this thing as it heads towards 60 basis points and above. All right, I've said enough. Uh, retail sales today in the U.S. 
or sellers of uh, risk still, um, but we're being patient, waiting for high ones, and we're watching this cable bar pretty closely. Very interesting bar here. Um, see, see what goes down in cable. Good luck out there, people. I will talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.